Gallery here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name is Jessica Ruth. I am a lapidary artist here and I have a co-host today. Hey guys, Devin Edison here, a Navajo artist here at t -Skies. We uh, We do these flash sales and these regularly scheduled sales a few times a week. Friday is our Usually our vintage show, but today what I pulled was a bunch of fabulous cuffs, and these are, they're kind of amazing. Um, so I'm excited to show you what we've got today. Uh, I'll give it a, a little bit for everybody to join and tune in. I know uh, quite a few of you tune in and watch regularly, so welcome. Mm -hmm. And how this works, I know we are now streaming on a couple of platforms, so I just run through how this works. We, uh, we have 10 items today. We will talk about each one a little bit. Each one has a number. If it's something you'd like to claim, you just leave us a comment below. We set that item aside. It's very simple. You can give us a call um, as soon as you're ready to check out, or you can just inbox us um, on our Facebook page or through tskies.com, I believe that would work. I don't through tskies.com? Mm -hmm. um, Most likely. Probably. I think so. I, I actually hadn't asked about how the YouTubers can, we'll see your comment, we'll set it aside. The easiest way is just give us a call. I don't know why I'm trying to change the introduction while I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so hello, Susan and Kim and Lori and Isabel, and I think Debbie was the first on there. So, uh, and now my mother's calling me. She must know I'm live. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, Mom. <laughs> Um, let me just let... She wants to be our guest caller. I think so. <laughs> so it's it's a very simple process. We'll give you some measurements. We'll talk about the piece. And uh, if you want it, you just let us know. Yeah, just give us, just give us a call or message us through our messenger. I think we're good on audio. Anyone? I think we're fine. Okay, okay. Uh, right. It looks like Susan is uh, having some audio problems, so we're just going to do a quick check-in. If you've got audio, give me a thumbs up, and we'll get going. Um, there we go. Thank you. Echoes. Hmm. Interesting. I'll check that. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, you're on the right side of the all the numbers so I <laughs> guess right. you get to start today all right I'll just get it started so right now we're going to bracelet we're going to bracelet number one. Oh, all right guys thanks for letting us know the sound is good awesome thank you yep so we have number one here and who, who was it that made these again let me look what's it say uh F R or these uh, Ortiz is it a Franz? I can't remember the first name. Yeah, I forgot, <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot the artist that made these, but these are actually an awesome pieces. So these are actually kind of some some kind of close to shadow box, but actually it's kind of a cutout layer. Overlay. An overlay, that's what. Thank you. <laughs> an overlay bracelet here. A nice good shine with a beautiful design on there. What's cool about the overlay is they um, basically are two formed bracelets together. That first piece is all hand sawed and cut out and then layered on top of a second piece. So they've got some pretty, pretty good depth to them. Yeah. You want to give me a measurement on that? The measurement? All right. Let's see. The measurement on this bracelet is going to be, let's see, I got about five inches of the bracelet and uh, also will with the gap is going to be about six and a half okay is that your size i think that's your size maybe you could try it on for I, us I, I think that would be yeah pretty much my size yeah awesome look how nice that looks that just pops too it does yes it, it does I do believe this is um, something that was made a couple of years ago, but it hasn't been worn um, with love yet. It's been tried on. We've shown it on the show one more one time before this, um, but it is a new piece, so it would be new to to you. Um, so this isn't vintage, but the overlay and the cutouts make it a very desirable contemporary piece. Yep. These generally run anywhere from a thousand bucks up. 
sometimes a little bit more if they have stones. We have it priced at 500. What's great about our shows is everything is 20% off and you guys are getting first dibs on that. So today this item is $400. $400. Frederick, not Franz. Thank you, Susan. Frederick, thank you, Susan. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Cool. I was trying to remember this artist. It's, it's funny, the things that we pack away, what I call into my Rolodex, um, <laughs> and how quickly we can get back to that information. So thanks. You know, what's great is we've got some really great viewers here who uh, keep us on our toes. And yep, it's awesome. Out. You guys are awesome, i got to tell you that. <laughs> All right, so, so that is item number one. We do offer layaway here at the T-Skies for any item over the price of $250. And I'm looking through my list today, and I think everything qualifies. Um, so that means if you see something you love, and you go, ooh, that's a little more than I can spend today, we can actually offer you a program that will uh, let you split it into four equal payments. So that would be 25% down today, and then you have three following months to pay it off. You can pay it off sooner. There's no prepayment penalties by any means. Can you tell I used to work in the... Uh, <laughs> real estate industry. <laughs> Sell me a house. Right? <laughs> um, and that's a big one. Prepayment penalties stink. So if you want to pay it off in two payments, you could definitely do that and have it in time for Christmas. Yeah. Um, so a couple of options for purchasing. Just good to know in case you see something you got to have. So item number one is an overlay. Item number two caught Marco's eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. uh, yes, this cool. design. I don't, so it's a pretty cool piece. Interesting that how they could be able to do something like this. Mm-hmm. You and I kind of, I guess, deconstructed it when we first saw this piece and we're like, ooh, how does this get made? So this is a, it's a thicker cuff. Um, there's many pieces of silver in there and it's almost like a shadow box of sorts where it's got those ridges and that deep, um, I guess, layers of sorts. So. Mm -hmm. How many of them are there? It looks like five or is it six? One, two, three, four, five inside. Five insides. So yep. a total of seven if you're counting that outside band. It's a pretty cool piece. There we go. You can see it on the top here. Oh, yes. Perfect. So it's basically uh, a sheet wire laid on its side and creating these, um, these ridges. So it's almost like wearing... Uh, layers with a single piece. Yeah, isn't that piece great? <laughs> yeah, that's a wowza. Why don't we uh, see if you try it on for him since you're... I, I strategically placed him next to the camera today. <laughs> I was wondering why I was sitting on this side. It's so I have to do less work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, a little big on me. Maybe it's a six and three quarters to maybe a seven. Well, we'll measure it here in a second, but show him on your wrist what that looks like. It just, it's... It's very masculine in its own way, um, but I think it, it's definitely got some power to it. So this would work um, as a unisex bracelet, but I think as a man's bracelet, a men's bracelet, it looks really fantastic, which you just don't see as many uh, men's bracelets as you would like to. It's so. a great name for it, the power bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> the power bracelet, I hold the power of everything. <laughs> So uh, while you're measuring it, I'll talk about price. So we've got this listed at $750 in the gallery. Um, so today with that 20% off, it is uh, $600. $600? Yeah, and I think I actually took the scale upstairs trying to clean up the desk area, but the weight on that is pretty significant. So We're looking at maybe about 7 inches of it. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. It's a bigger, bigger bracelet. Yep. Seven inches, so that's that's nice. Um, for yes, great on a man, says Susan. <laughs> Just gotta find you one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good for a man's wrist, but now nah, boys' wrist. <laughs> what I what I always say. All right, so that was item number two. Number three is also a really great overlay piece. Oh. oh. This one we've had for a little while, um, and part of the reason is is there's so much silver on this piece. It's you know, it's not everybody's style, but when it's when it's right for you, you'll know. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll know. You'll know. I guess. And all these nice, good inlay cuts, they are actually pretty amazing. You like that? Oh, yes. They are awesome. I don't think you've tried overlay, have you? No, I have not recently. I have not. Ah, a challenge. Hmm, a challenge. <laughs> so this is item number three. Um, this piece is a little less than number two. It normally starts at 600. Today it is 480, which is, um, I think there's well over an ounce and a half of silver here. It kind of feels like it. Yeah, there's, there's some silver here. The gauge, the thickness on it, I'll have them show you the side of it. <laughs> I don't know, Susan. It's a good question. Where is everyone? <laughs> we got 41 of y'all. <laughs> yeah, where is everybody? That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So we're looking at an at another size 7. Nice. Okay. Let's see. And once again, that one's a little okay. big on me. Ooh, you know what would make a great matching set? Ah. One on each side. Oh, I dig it. Look at that. Oh, oh, those are cool. Right? I know men don't typically layer their their cuffs, so you need those matching power cuffs for each side. And these are both the seven inches, um, if that's what you're looking for. With this, the heavy, heavy gauge that's going on with them, adjustment is going to be a little bit difficult. Eh. You're not going to be able to hand adjust them, but uh, if you needed them down, actually, I don't want to pound on those. Do you want to pound on those? Uh, probably not. Probably not, so we're not going to adjust those. <laughs> They're too... They're... It's a lot of work to to manipulate that. So seven is what these are both coming in at. Yep. Um, <laughs> awesome. I love it. They're like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it's just Friday. Everyone's relaxing, listening to Seeing our what we got. <laughs> Falling asleep to the sweet sounds of these guys. <laughs> Isabel, what size are you? Um, you know, the variety in what we get, because we are purchasing sometimes some of those older pieces, it's funny what make their way back into the circulation. The sevens are pretty typical, the six and three quarters. The smaller pieces seem to disappear. And the larger ones, they just, I think because there's so much silver, um, <laughs> uh, they tend to stay in collections because people know their value and so they hold on to them. Mm -hmm. So. Oh my gosh, everybody's uh, so funny today. I know, everybody's got Opening a lot going on. Today. <laughs> Where's our wine? Right? <laughs> Ooh, a, a wedding on uh, Halloween. That sounds like fun. Oh. Mm. Six and three-quarter, oh, Jan size. Size six, okay, okay. Yeah, we, um, I think I've got a couple on this side that'll work for you, um, but we started with the, basically the larger cuffs, so. Yeah. Item number four is kind of a neat one. It's, um, the stone is amazing. When I first saw it, um, I thought it was marcasite, um, but I honestly, it's not marcasite. It looks like a, a pyrite, um, so it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, this actually kind of, kind of goes with my, the barrettes that I did. Oh, Remember those barrettes? Yeah, I do. With that matrixing? Yeah. Number two, Patrick, is coming in at 600 today. This item we're showing is item number four. And you can kind of see it's a little dark in the studio. Um, as, as we get into the winter months, the sun is moving further away from our windows. So mm -hmm. it's... Every day, just a little bit darker in here. It's kind of funny. We have to adjust the lights. Mm, yep. But what you aren't really picking up there is there are some flecks of um, pyrite in there. So fool's gold, the gold color. I think you can see it's just right at this angle here. Yeah, it's it's a little tricky. Is but, that a turquoise with pyrite? Or? It, nope, it's just a pyrite. Oh, wow. Pure pyrite. Yeah, it's it's a cool piece. Okay. So it's a little bit different. Um, good stacker if you've already got some of those turquoise cuffs. There we go. Look there. at that stone. And so it's got that matrixing in it that's got that darker color behind it. 
I like that it's got that hand hammered texture behind the rose. And then that kind of, I guess, like bow shape with the, um, how it's scrunched in the middle with that stone. It's a pretty mm. cool piece. Yeah. And I think that one's coming in at a six and three quarters too. While you're measuring that, I will find the price. All right. So up in the gallery, we got it priced at 400. So today it is priced at 320. And we will get you the size. I don't think it's quite a seven. No, uh, it's about six and a half. Six and a half? Yep. Okay. And that gap's, is that a one and a half inch gap? Could we open it more? It's just about. Maybe. It's a one and a quarter. So I could definitely get this to a six and three quarters if that's what you were looking for. I happen to know somebody watching that has that size. We just talked about it. Yep. <laughs> um, oh, welcome, Jaren. Um, so this is a pretty cool piece. Let's see what it's marked inside. Oh, it's little. And my eyes are not working today. It's an R and a something. You want Let's my eyes? Give the young one, but uh, use his eyeballs. It's R B. R B. R B. Okay. And it says sterling, but that's all. That's it. But it is. A, it's a pretty cool piece. It's a little bit different. Yep. So. Anything. This was all fabricated, or, or <laughs> in a way not kind of like. It's not cast. Yeah, it's not cast. So they went in and hand hammered that texture in. That cage was built and probably put on top of it. So oh, it's yeah. kind of like an overlay technique um, with not quite as much detail within it with those big openings. So it does have the four um, bands on the outside, which is pretty cool. And that's item number four coming in at 320. Cool. That's one I wish would fit me. We've had that one for a while too, and I've tried to wear it. And it's scary because it wants to fall off of me. So. <laughs> All right, item number five. This one I was pretty excited about, so I had some conversations with the folks here about the turquoise that was in it. You see Devin? He's just like, ooh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm just jealous this person managed to get this stone. It's a, it's a pretty incredible stone. So what the consensus is on this stone, let's get you that close up so you can see what we're talking about. We believe this is probably Sleeping Beauty. And it's kind of a rarer version of Sleeping Beauty. And the reason that is, is the camera's picking up that matrix, but that matrix is actually highlighted in the yellow, I know, right? See it almost can... looks like pyrite. <clears throat> it looks like pyrite, but I took it out into the sun and it's a very gold burst. Um, so it doesn't, it's not pyrite. So what this is, is often Sleeping Beauty, what they're looking for, for that high quality, they will um, set aside anything that's got some heavy matrixing in it. Um, so this is what you would basically call a second, so that it's the second pile. They pick through, they get those premium cuts. Sometimes it takes a little while, but I personally love the um, splash of like gold hints in there. Hmm. So just very unique and rare for that particular stone. Yeah, the gold are actually a good, good matrix with the turquoise. It's different. Where do you think that gold coloring comes from? Is it, do you think there's like hints of actual like chemical gold in there? I don't think it's actual gold. Um, That'd be so wouldn't cool. that be fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> then uh. the price would be just right on this one. <laughs> um, honestly, that's a great question, and I would really like to know the answer to that. So I'll do a little bit of research on gold matrixing, which is more of um, a color description than the actual um, matrix itself. <laughs> so. Hi, Joe. Um, so why don't you get a measurement on that? That is item number five. All right. It's a bigger one. I think it's probably a seven, if not a little bit bigger. There's a lot of silver on this one. A lot, and it does look a little bigger than this. Oh, nope, I was wrong. 
Is it a seven? It is a seven. I think it's that, that widespread kind of makes the eye kind of travel around. So it, it appears larger than a seven, which is kind of cool. Um, so this item number five was four twenty five. So this this kind of blows my mind the price on this one three forty today, and actually, so I saw your comment there, uh, soupy cereal. <laughs> um, the next cuff I'm going to show is going to be our lowest priced item of the day. This one, however, I think is our um, super deal of the day because there's so much silver here. Such a large stone. Ah, uh, some Marinci have some gold color matrix. I actually, that's what I asked Shep because he was the one who bought this. And of course, uh, Marinci and the Sleeping Beauty mine are very close um, to each other. So I, I asked that very same question and he said, no, I really think this is the Sleeping Beauty. Um, but, you know, something that happens, we get questions all day long, what kind of turquoise is this? Sometimes it's very easy to figure it out, and other times turquoise can be tricky. And it's like, no, I'm from Arizona. No, I'm from Nevada. No, I'm from Colorado. <laughs> yeah, they, they're always the tricky ones. They are the tricky ones. So, again, the price on this one, $340. And you can see, show them the end tips of those because it spreads yeah. out and you can just hear the weight as he's moving it around. That's a very cool piece. Is that one marked at all? Oh, good question. Yeah. It might be under the sticker that's on the back of the piece. or nope, nope, it's on the end caps. End caps, but it's, it's some sort of symbol on there. Okay. Maybe... Looked like rattlesnake tail, or I don't know. Interesting. Let's take a look. See what I can find. I don't know. It kind of, it kind of re resembles kind of a oh. rattlesnake sort of. But oh, I see that. I don't know. Maybe I might be wrong. Maybe one of those honey scoop things. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I don't know what that's called either. <laughs> a honey scoop. I don't know how you, I don't know how you put that. Nut Cheerio B carries around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I never I never knew. All I know is that you can get the honey with that. Uh, totally. Definitely a name for that. It's gonna bug me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so item number six. So we're on to my side. So I guess I can try on some jewelry now. Cool. So you can see that one slipped right down, which means it's probably gonna come in at a six and a quarter. But let me measure before I quote that. And the price on this one for bracelet number six, we had it priced for the gallery for three seventy-five, but for today it's going to be three hundred dollars. So it is a six and a quarter. At six and a quarter, so it would be my size. Oh, look at that! Well, now I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be smaller? I could definitely bring it into a six if that's what you're looking for, Margaret. But other than that. No, a five is, oh, let me take a look. What mm. kind of turquoise is that on that Oh, this one tricked me. And I actually, this one and the last one, I did a little bit of research on before the show. Yeah, this isn't going to fit a five, honey. I'm going to have to cut the caps off, the ends, and reshape the whole thing. Yeah. And you're going to lose that design element. Basically, this is made to, actually, if you'll show them on the close-up, where those, those pieces come out, um, that's gonna sit right at the edge of your wrist at a six. Um, it can go to a six and a half, uh, but at a five, you're gonna lose that design and those pieces are gonna be right where they're gonna catch everything, yeah. so. Oh, number five. From a seven to a, so how small from, because that one's a size seven, number five. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, that if we were to, be able to resize this that we're going to have to end up having to cut off these little flaps on the ends here. So we'll end up having to cut these guys off and then there's not going to be a good design on there. And the fact that this is just a too good of a piece that we did not want to mess up with it. And plus the artist's signature is actually within these right. ends here. But I don't know. Um, so that is square wire and twist wire. 
Finding a stone that's similar might be a little bit difficult, but what we do offer here is custom orders. So Devin is an artist here who um, a lot of you folks have seen his work and you've worked with him. Um, so if you're looking for something in a very similar design element, he could definitely take that and kind of make it um, a smaller size and a smaller version. Yep. So. So you can always reach out to us. I didn't talk about that. Um, if you don't see what you love today, but you see something like, wow, I really need that in my life, but it's not the right size, just reach out, start that conversation. If Devin can't do it, there's always other artists who may be able to help you. Yep. So. All you do is just contact us, then we can work with you. All right. So back to number six. I do believe this is what you were asking about, Sandy. I could definitely go up to a six and a half with that one. That one, basically all I'd be doing is tapping out the edges a little bit. I was just measuring the opening gap, so it's at a one and a quarter. So I would simply open up the gap to a one and a half, and it would totally work for you. So this is my, uh, this is my deal of the day here at $300 with that big cast uh, silver. There's a lot of silver there. That's actually a really great deal. Oh yes, and this one is, I believe, two putt casted, you think? Uh, I don't oh, know. it's too clean to be two putt. I think it's too know. clean. I did, I was looking on the inside, it was, it was pretty clean. You don't get that typical pitting. Um, mm, true. So I think it was just a cast piece. Um, but it's still, it's a lot of silver. The stone kind of, tricked me a little bit and I, I wanted to, I actually did the needle test on this one and what the needle test is is when you heat up a little wire I heated it up until it was bright red and I actually pulled back the bezel a little bit so you wouldn't surface damage anything and I take that little needle and I touch it to the turquoise and what happens when you have fake turquoise um, because this is such a perfect uniform color. I, I thought, man, did we get tricked? Mm -hmm. Which does happen, even to us. So I did the hot needle test. What it will do is if it is a, um, if it's block or has a lot of um, compressed stuff in it, it will actually melt into the stone and you'll be able to smell it. This did not do that. Uh -huh. So it actually passed the needle test. Cool. Yeah, so I do believe, so I, I talked to Shep and he says he thinks it's Kingman. We want to show him one more time. But I just wanted right. to let you guys know, I, I question this stone because of the weird little matrixing that's in there. It's a little different than anything I had seen. It's also um, super high polished. So that doesn't, you don't see that as often with turquoise. You usually get it a rougher um, cut as I guess how it would be described. So I thought, wow, this is this has got to be a trick. But it wasn't. So item number six, $300, coming in at a six and a quarter. So good price on that one. Yep, and only I wish I knew what the casting they did on it. Yeah. It could be a tooth of cast. It would just be a ton of cleaning. They would have had to, like, it would have probably been a lot thicker before. Mm -hmm. And then they yeah. would have had to grind down at least, like, a millimeter off both sides, which is a lot. <laughs> I do think with the price reflection, um, kind of tells me, Tufa typically is a one of, and so you'll get um, a little more design element in it. They usually go just a little more heavy in how they design it. Uh, um, but one never knows, do they? Eh. All right, item number seven. Ooh, is that an Eddie? It is. Uh, it's an Eddie Secretaro's bracelets. You know, we really like Eddie. So we've been we've been featuring him quite a bit. He's got this really unique uh, cutout design. You see Devin just <laughs> looking at it. He's loving it. Um, and he he recently told me that that design element on his his cutouts is based on some pottery um, that he has seen throughout his childhood and growing up out on the Pueblo. Um, so it is inspired by his family traditions. There are often uh, many different cutouts you'll see, but they they all are made to match the stone. So yeah, and that does that does go good with the stone itself. It does. Is that a seven? 
About almost about six and three quarters. Oh, okay. A little less. Okay. I was like, it didn't look quite that big, but. Uh, Once again, it's always the trick of the eyes. It is. And unfortunately, he's a little too big on. This is a tiny big on me, but then again, that might be a big opening. Is it? Yeah, almost about. An inch and a half. Almost an inch and a half, yeah. So we could definitely bring those edges in just a little bit and bring it down about a quarter of an inch. Um, but let's take a look at that beautiful stone. I do love me some Kingman. I love matrixing. I know I'm supposed to like that good, pure cut of color, but to me that matrix just gives it just that added little attitude. So this is an Eddie Secatero cutout pendant. So this is a brand new piece. Pendant, pendant cuff. <laughs> I'm looking at the piece and I'm like, oh, it looks just like those. We do have pendants that match this piece exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Mold release. Yep. Huh. For tufa casting, they use, uh, they just take the, whenever you're using a torch and you just use the gas flame, mm -hmm. they just use the charcoal from the gas, like they burn soot onto it. Uh, That's what they'll do with tufa casting. Oh, okay. Somebody who really knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Like Aaron Anderson, I think. Did a, like that video on our channel. Okay. On okay. We'll get to that actually. Huh. Oh, awesome. Cool. So this uh, this piece again, item number seven. It was four twenty five. Today it is three forty. Three forty four. Bracelet number seven. Awesome. There you go. And once again, the size on that is right now at seven three quarters, but we can bring it down to maybe six and a half. So this one, I actually tried this one on earlier. It's going to measure big, but it's got a really small gap on it. Mm. So I have a six inch wrist. Typically I wouldn't wear something this big for fear of it falling off, but with that, look at that. I could totally pull this one off <laughs> to be amazing. That's one of those sweater bracelets, basically. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Pretty much. Totally. I would say more comfortably a six and a half, but I am going to measure it because I think it's probably going to look like a seven. Um, but if you are a seven, I'm going to actually recommend not buying this piece unless you're a six and three quarter because that gap, I would love to be able to open it up, but with this many stones, yeah, see it's measuring at a seven, but there's no way this is going to fit. We're calling it a six and three quarters, even though it's measuring a seven. Yeah, that's about that's about that size. It's a it's a little big on me, but not too bad, right? Yep, not too bad. So it's got more of the round shape as opposed to the oval shape. Uh, so this one, look at all that silver. It's got the heavy triangle wire all the way through. How many stones is that? It's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> nine stones on there, and you think Kingman? I do think Kingman. It's got a little bit of surface pitting, um, so it's they aren't clean cut stones. They've got some of that matrix and a little bit of that natural edging. And so the heavy number four triangle wire, you think, on the outside? Or do you think that's number two? I think it looks number two. Yeah, okay. That looks real big. Okay. Yep. And then there's a third uh, row in there of triangle wire to help support the uh, the weight of oh, those yeah. cups. You can see how thick those. Yeah, those are definitely like two or one. Yeah, it's it's heavy. Yep. Is that round wire or triangle wire in the center? It's a triangle. Okay. Which is unusual. Usually they don't um, match those all the way through. So. Really cool piece, really heavy stamping on the outside as well. So you're getting a lot there. You're getting the row bracelet, you're getting the drops, you're getting a lot of silver, a lot of stone. Yep. Is there a mark, an artist mark on that one? Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yes, there's one. It's a SC Sterling. Okay. Um, so this one, even with all that weight, um, it is priced at 700 before the discount, which means today it is 560. 560? Oh, that's such a good deal. Oh yeah, that's a steal right there. Mm -hmm. 
Do you think that's coming in at two ounces? It's weighty, right? Mmm, yep. Just kind of looking at it, yeah. Compared to this one. <laughs> we need like a little weight next to it. We just need a little ounce weight. Yeah. <laughs> so one ounce exactly. Hmm, surprise. Surprisingly, they're kind of feeling the same. Are they? Okay. It could be, you know, with those openings, it could be a bit of a trick with, the, again, the eye. So. Yeah, but then again, maybe this one is actually a little happy. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just going. <clears throat> yeah. Good piece. So that's item number eight. And again, uh, all of these pieces today qualify for layaway. Oh. Uh, I love me these old pieces. Okay, now this one definitely looks good with the barrettes I had. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of a similar uh, punch out, huh? Yep. So this piece, I believe, was made in the early 50s. This is part of that Fred Harvey collection I bought when I was at the gym show last year. It is a Kingman stone, um, that natural color over this many years will turn from uh, blue to green. It could have been a green stone to begin with, but most of them were blue. That's what everybody looks for in turquoise. But what's great about natural turquoise is over time and over the years, it will start to oxidize itself um, and, and change a little bit of color. So this is, this is a smaller piece, um, highly collectible. If you're a collector of older pieces, this one looks like a reproduction. It's in such great shape. I don't think it got worn very much. You don't think it was like cleaned at any point? It doesn't look like it was. No. So uh, it was really well done. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I think that this was probably a gift to somebody and it just sat and uh, sat in a box somewhere. I know, Susie, it's a... Uh, this would match the one you've got, but I know mm -hmm. I, we can only do so much, right? Yep. So to share the wealth, I mean, you could claim it. We could put it on layaway. Yeah, you could. Is it stamped? So usually this was the era before stamp work on the inside, but let's take a look and see what you can find. I don't think it's stamped. Oh, it doesn't no. say like coin silver or anything like that. Oh, it says. It is stamped. No, no, it does. He's right. It does say coin silver? Coin silver. Fantastic. Dang. How did, uh, Jess, you're teaching me so much about this. <laughs> so coin silver is its own little fabulous niche if you want to do, um, find a way to collect something very specific. They used to take the uh, mercury dimes, the silver dimes, and melt them down hmm. and hammer them out. It was... They didn't have Thunderbird to go buy their silver like we do. <laughs> they had to figure it out. So so they would melt down coins, which would be illegal to do today. Wow. So, yeah. I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is you could, but there isn't enough silver in those yeah, coins to do it. Nickel. Darn it. So what is the size? Let's find out. Yeah. Um, and this item, item number nine, I had it priced at $650. It is down to five twenty today. Um, quite a deal for what it is you're getting, and they are—they're a little bit small. Let's see. So right now we're looking at maybe about six and a half. A six and a half. That makes sense. Yep. It's always the older pieces that are just small. We're they, smaller. <laughs> they made us smaller back then. This is actually at a six and a half. Is actually on the larger size for um, a Fred Harvey era. And so. I think Susie wants it because she likes the coin silver. She does. Sold to Sold. Susie. Yep. What? Yay! Right. Woo! She had to think about it, but, you know, this is, she's she's gotten one before. I think she's actually gotten two. And what was the size on that one again? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half. Awesome. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. So is it uh, Susie. Susie Hewitt? Awesome. And, and coin and coin silver. I actually been hearing about it, but never actually believed in it. I guess. No. Nope. Yeah, it's it's amazing what um, the industry has developed from in the last 80, 90 years, um, and how these modern conveniences for us, where we're able to just go to a store and they've already got the the silver prepared for us, and they use a cutter. 
and it comes out in these nice flat sheets. However, I've seen, I've seen my friend right here melt it into an ingot, just bang the heck out of it. It's a lot of work to go that route, but. Oh yeah, yeah it is rough. I'm doing that with gold right now, and I'm still not done. All right, you're working with that gold pieces. Yeah. Good. I melted down an ingot of gold, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so much harder. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, that was a, that's a great buy. I'm glad um, every time we bring them out, it took them a while for Shep to, to bring them to the shows, but they disappear. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I like this one too. It's very classic, I know. Hey. Look at that stamp work. Even, even Devin's impressed and he's a good stamper. But yeah, the stamp work in this one is amazing. I like how they managed to put in the reposés in there. Yeah. So heavy, heavy stamp work. Wow. Yeah. Deep, deep stamp work. On top of the bump outs. So you've got the in, the out. You've got a lot of surface here. It's, it's got a lot to say. Yep. Very pretty piece. And it, does that look like Sleeping Beauty too? I think, it, I think maybe. It looks so blue. Like every time I see that, it's like, yeah, it's King I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> It could be, but... Hey, I bet it's Sleeping Beauty, just because of that blue. Hmm. But, let's see. This is a Maloney piece. I don't know which member of the family. Um, I wish Jan was here. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, are you watching? <laughs> I don't think she is actually. She was uh, running around to the clinic today. So. Ah, right. But let's get a measurement on that piece. Um, heavy, heavy stamp work. I'm looking at this. It looks like 14 gauge. It looks like there's actually decorative wire on the outside. However, that is just consistent deep stamp work. Oh yeah, that's a lot of stamp work. Well, for the gap itself, we're looking at one inches on it. One and a half. One, one and a half, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so right now we're looking at... Coming in at a seven or is it going to be a little bit bigger? Oh, it's going to be a little bit smaller. Just about, about... Just shy of a seven. Three, about six and three quarters. Yeah. Yep, so six and three quarters. The price on this one, I, again, sometimes my price is... I don't understand how we price these things. This is a lot of silver as well. It was six fifty, so today it's five twenty. So, like I said, that's like fourteen gauge, if not twelve. So look at the the width of that. Oh wow! And there's soldered pieces on top. So yes. Like, yeah. And all that side is just stamp work. It's not even filing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Little scallops, and then it goes almost triangular at one point. Yeah, it's it's impressive work. So that's that's how you know they went um, after they had shaped the piece. Probably you're right. That probably is file work, not stamp work on the outside. Okay. Now that you say that, and I'm seeing it on the camera up close, that's how they would keep those angles matched with the uh, mm, yeah. the curvature of the piece. It looks kind of uh, just a tiny bit files on them. Yeah. Yeah. It's still incredible craftsmanship. Um, the time that goes into this a piece like this, um, hours and hours of work. I feel like so. that could be stamp work. Show the top again. You think it's stamp work? I think so, because if you look towards that inner part, there's that line, and then there's just like that divide. I don't know. Maybe. It could either. It could go either way. Um, and what I'm seeing could just be a distortion from the shaping. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I think it could go either way. I mm -hmm. don't know for sure, but I'd assume it'd be stamp work. I think it would be quicker. <laughs> yeah. Because you could get that at a flat piece and then curve it and it would have that same orientation. Yeah, you're right. And you could do the same thing with, with, with filing. Oh my God. You could. So, but you know. The triangles would be like somewhat bigger, so I don't know. I don't that's know. A, that's an interesting make. That's like one of the ones I want to know how it was made. You know, yeah. it's just wearing it, you can feel the um, the energy coming from it. So to be able to watch somebody put that work together would be quite magical. So again, uh, five twenty on item number ten today. So I think yes, that's the final item of the show. Right? It is. Yeah, we've gone and through will, everything. And it will not stay up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yours. That's what that means. Giants. 
Well, you know, you could get up there and make something that would fit you. Probably. <laughs> just gotta give myself. Stuff I'd make doesn't fit me. It's hard to make stuff that fits yourself. <laughs> you just make it and you're like, oh. <laughs> One of the tricks I have learned is when I make things that don't fit me, it means I can't keep them. So I want to keep everything. I have to. I have to intentionally make things too big so that I can let them go. <laughs> my, my thing is, I'll try to make things fit me. If I make them, I'm like, I could stretch this out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm just. I'm just. I just get lucky on making them my size. Oh. You're just. You're just smart, and you measure before you make. <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna just run back through these real quick. Nothing too drastic. Um, item number one is an overlay cutout cuff. Uh, six and three quarters, I believe. Gosh, that one reminds me of like Star Trek whenever I look at it for some reason. Oh, I bet it's it's kind of got that that Star Trek yeah, shape I, on the end. <laughs> you I see, see that? it now. I see it. It's so funny. That's a size six and a half, right? Six and a half. Uh, we're measuring it again. I didn't write them down like I usually do. Uh, yeah, six and a half. So. 6.5. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. And Star Trek, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm not that much of a nerd. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Devin doesn't get out much. He yep. works. He sleeps. Now I'm just only going to see it. It's like a... <laughs> Very symmetrical Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so cool. So uh, six and a half was 500, 400 today. That's item number one. Item number two, which was the seven inch oh. and such a pretty piece. Um, I honestly, so I wish I, I'm sure there's a name for this style, but it's something I don't know the name of. I'm just uh, calling it like a ridge shadow box. Okay, okay. I don't All right. know what it would be called. Um, it was 750 today it is 600 and this is the one that I know is coming in well over a couple ounces of silver there's a lot of silver in this piece so. oh yeah there's a lot of silver item number three another really hefty uh, overlay this one's about twice as thick as that first one uh, and it's a seven inch as well yeah, never mind. We didn't. We didn't show them the thickness of it. We didn't. We talked about it, just for reference. Look how. I mean, that's the head of a pen. That's a lot of silver. Yeah, and compared to the bracelet number one. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't. You know, until you have that comparison, you're like, yeah, that's a lot of silver, and you're like, oh no, that is a lot of silver. <laughs> <laughs> so it was six hundred four eighty today. 480. For number three. Number four, which is the pyrite uh, cuff with that hammered texture. And I believe that one was. Um, who made number three? Yeah. It cool. is an Emerson piece. Oh, wow. We had two of them, JJ. Um, one went to Colorado last year. So this oh, was yeah. the. This was the brother to it, mm. so. And the artist for this one is R.B. I forgot who that was. Richard, or, uh, oh. Oh. Did we already it. forget? We talked about it in a little bit. <laughs> I think we were talking about number one. Yeah, we were talking about number one. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Num number four, uh, still an unknown. Still an unknown, yep. Um, and that one came in at a six and three quarters. I had six and a half. Six and a half, okay. I think it was six and a half. Let me just double check it just to make sure. Um, it was 400. Today it is 320. It does have that pyrite stone, so something a little different um, to complement your turquoise. Because you can never have enough turquoise, but you can always get some complementary stones to match them. Yep. So we're looking at six and a half. Perfect. So number four. Yep. And Susan's asking about number three, so if you want to... Show that one on the camera. I'm, I'm curious too. Okay. Just to see if it. Yeah, that one's for sure not stamped. That is way too deep. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an overlay. Yeah. It's like an overlay and an inlay. Yeah. Because unless <laughs> they cut out both sides and left that center. Plus, you can be able to on. see. Let me see. You can be able to see the two silvers. Ah. Uh, nope, I'm going to show them the, the edges. That is one piece. Do you see how they went in oh, at the yeah. edge? Okay, uh, that's cool. They went all the way around to the other side and then circled back. So that is one Very solid cool. piece on top of one solid piece. So 
Yeah, and you can see that seam on the sides where they solder it together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, really cool piece on number number three. And 480 again, great price. Yep. Oh, you're right, number five. I was trying to skip number five. Trying to keep trying to keep this one to yourself. Maybe. <laughs> it is the uh, Sleeping Beauty Stone coming in at seven inches. It's got that wider square band. Um, definitely could go masculine on this one or, or more feminine. Um, yeah, this one looks like it match a, a good squash blossom just because of the, uh, the, mm. intric the intricacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. And it's got, you know, it's got the scallop, it's got the square wire, it's got the uh, double half round. It's, I mean, it's, it's all the things. <laughs> and are those bead shots around the side or is that a beaded wire or for the bezel? Might be beaded wire. That looks beaded in wires. So I was like, those are bead shots. That is some, right. <laughs> that is some skill. <laughs> and the price on this one, $425 down to $340. Um, great price on that. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting a good representation of the stone because there is that flash of gold in there. It's just like slightly out of focus. Neat piece right there. God, that is so cool. And it's almost like we always have some pieces that look like oceans or something mm -hmm. like that. Like that really looks like a Bahamas type area. Because uh, you see like the, the the more foamy, like kind of white blue mm -hmm. that's there. And then the darker, you have your little plant life. I was going to say the, uh, you're swimming through the, the uh, not the algae, seaweed. There it is. It's there been it a while is. since I've been to the ocean. It's something. <laughs> At this so point, cool. I have no idea what we're talking about because I've never been to the beach. I've heard this, oh, yeah, and I'm planning before. spring break 2021, Devin. <laughs> Tea guys, spring break. Puerto Penasco, here we come. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Someone tells me I better get our taxis ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's so pretty. I, I think this one's the deal of the day. I think so, too, at 340. That's that it. big of a stone. It's amazing. Price. Oh, yes. So. Let me measure that stone real quick. So it's just a little past one inches, about one and a quarter. So Isabel, this is the one we were talking about. It has some end caps on it that are not going to really allow us for the um, resize. And the reason being um, to bring that in, we're basically going to have to do a trim. And that is where the maker's mark is and how that design flows. You're basically just cutting off the end of the design. So, yeah, so that, I don't personally want to ruin somebody's artwork like that. Since that, that one's a size seven and uh, the, the gap looks like it's about an inch. So it's like the most you could push it in. But I think I so. I Jan wears size seven. She's pretty comfortable with them. So yeah. I, I feel like that would be... You think that would work on her? I don't even know what size I am. I would try it on if I'm a size 7, but I don't think I am. So this is my, this is how I test things. <laughs> just flies Super off. Super dangerous. Just <laughs> but take your out the window while you're driving. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how it's kind of balanced on my, my wrist right there. That's my test. If, if, if I can get it to balance and it doesn't jump, I'm pretty comfortable wearing a piece. And I'm actually a 6. So could this fit a 6 and 3 quarters? Yes. Could I maybe bring it in on the edges just slightly without changing the design? Probably. Probably. I think I could tighten it. So if you want me to set that aside for you. Um, it's so, the squeezing, the problem is, is if you go too tight there, that's an inch. Um, that's what I have for my clearance. So that's pretty tight already. So I don't want to go too tight and then make it um, unmanageable. So. But you let me know, okay? And uh, is that Isabel? Okay. That's all right. It would make a, a beautiful ring. Uh, yeah. I'd love to find a stone like that again. Awesome. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's how I test things. <laughs> See if you can put up with me. <laughs> Item number six um, was three seventy five down to three hundred today. I don't think this was too for cast. I think it was just cast mm -hmm. personally, just looking at the back of it. Um, and because that design is one that was often cast. Uh, 
The size on that one was six and a quarter, I believe. Six and a quarter. And Isabel does want you to set okay. that number five aside okay. if nobody buys it today. Awesome, <laughs> Isabel. Cool. That would be, you know, that you can come in and try it on makes a big difference. So I'm just going to go yeah. ahead and write your name down and put this in the pickup drawer so that... Uh, I'll oh. just ring the bell for you. Right? <laughs> just for funsies. Just for fun. Um, and Isabel, Devin and I were talking about our costumes tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> Don't mind what you see when you come in. Oh man, no, I want to come in tomorrow just to see that. <laughs> That's awesome. Who knows, it might be something you all would not have expected. <laughs> or neither would have I. You guys are doing a show tomorrow, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do you want to hop off and get that and I'll yeah. finish up? Awesome. Thank you, Devin. Mm -hmm. I'll be oh. back. Maybe. Maybe. And well, I think Shep answered. And maybe he did. All right. So uh, number six, did we talk about the price on that one? Not yet. Okay. So this is that cast piece. Um, was $375 down to $300 with the Kingman turquoise. Great price. Uh, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. And a quarter. Yeah. Just let me measure it real quick. Yep, about six and a quarter. Perfect. Awesome. 300 bucks, item number six. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that, that's like a, Shep and I are talking about like curved designs. Mm -hmm. And that, I'm trying to remember, I feel like there's a name for that specific design too. There is, but I can't recall it off the yeah. Top of my head. And, and so. This little part right here that we're showing reminds me of those little Greek harps. You know, like the. Mm. the, the round oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, what is it? It is a crazy price, huh, JJ? I thought so too. And I actually don't have a piece like this. So there's, you know, sometimes these shows are just as hard for me to watch <laughs> as they are for you. I'm like, oh, I need all of these. <laughs> um, Texas. I know we've had them. Viewed we the have YouTube. eight eight inches. The thing about eight inches is when we buy silver, it comes in sheets. The typical sheet cut is at six inches, so the max that we're going to get is seven inches. Um, to get anything bigger, we actually have to get what's called an end cut. So they flip the silver. <laughs> Susan's on top of her game. They flip the silver, ah. and we actually have to pay for what is called an end cut. Um, and what that means is we're paying for a silver that we're probably not going to use. Um, so those actually run kind of into the custom sizes. So what we'd like to do, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what we like to do with folks that might be within the um, end cut range, is we like to just connect with you and build your specific piece so that we know we're gonna maximize our potential in that investment. So it is, it's an unfortunate thing that that's kind of how the industry works now because the way they've standardized the silver cuts. Um, we do get them larger, but it is, it's rare. So, all right, item number seven. Seven. So good at reading today. <laughs> A mouth harp. Uh, I could do that too. You just stick it in your mouth and start humming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they, well, they have those. There's like the weird instrument that's like. It's a oh, mouth harp. That's what it is. It's yeah. a mouth harp. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just making a joke. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about playing spoons. Some spoons out oh, yes. of work too. I okay. Call the washboard. Uh, item number seven, I think, was seven inches. It is a six and three quarters. Six and three, six and three quarters. quarters. I'm glad you're taking notes. Um, it is an Eddie Secatero Kingman with that black matrix. I really like that contrast. Um, was four twenty-five. Today it is three forty. Good price. Nice yep. chunky stone on that. And a nice good design on it. Mm-hmm. I like how that rope wire stops and it's got those little beads on the end. Ah, uh, yes. Kind of cute. I don't know if you guys be able to see it, but. So it gives it that triple um, band effect on the top with, without, sorry, um, the weight of having to do that all the way through. So it actually gives you that elevated design element that keeps the price um, affordable. That's 
that's a fun technique too because you'll just take the bead wire, melt the bottom, and it rises up. Yeah. <laughs> Love doing that. Chase it up. <laughs> yeah, good times. Yep, good times. All right, item number eight is the one that measures in at a seven, but I'm calling a six and three quarters because of its roundness. Oh, yeah, that one's so nice. It's nine stones. Yep, yep nine stones. Uh, lots of silver on that one. Um, was 700, today it is 560. Great deal on that one. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Oof. This is where that so uh, that little spinny lazy Susan that we yeah. wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get ourselves that. Hand, I'm gonna end up buying a bunch of stuff for myself for the show for Hall for Christmas. No. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's going I got shopping tonight. A gift for Halloween, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, wow. and then uh, item number ten, our last item of the day. So. Uh, was 650 today it is 520 S super awesome stamp work we all were just talking away about how the technique to go into this much work and it is the 6.75 inches so six and three quarters it's a good thing Jan isn't here because this would be one she'd slip on and pretend she forgot to take off <laughs> <laughs> And you said this was a Maloney piece, part of the Maloney family? Correct. Yep. And are they known for doing that repose, like, solder on piece? Because if you look at the profile, like, those repose pieces are soldered on. Yeah. And I've seen that a few times before, and I, I don't remember what artist it was. Mm. Which makes me think that this is a later generation. Okay. Um, it could be earlier piece, but this is something that's a little more contemporary in styling. Um, we're definitely, or it's just making that comeback, and that could be my mistake. Um, I know a lot of artists are doing that now. So, but this is an older piece. It's an interesting piece. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and at 520, like I said, that's that's a heck of a deal. So. We only sold one piece today. Uh, two. Two. Two pieces, two potentially. Pieces. Oh. <laughs> um, so if you're watching this and you don't see that live button. <laughs> Either right here or maybe Let at the see. center. I wonder if you're, the way I'm watching it, it's like slightly off to the side. But <laughs> because like, I'm watching it in a weird way. Around, around right, here. Ah, the green screen. It's that side. It's this side. Okay. It's going to be, yeah. Okay. Am I pointing at it? Yep, it's like going to be right in your corner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's right behind you. It's, it's coming, it's coming. So that's the live icon. Um, if you're re-watching or you share this later and you don't see that icon, uh, just reach out to us if there's something you're interested in. I keep these buckets in a safe for a couple of days in case I get those phone calls. So I don't have to go back into the other part of the building to dig through things. Yep. Um, so it's very easy. We encourage you to share and to like and to um, to rewatch the videos so your friends can see them. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Yep, I can see him. I can see him right there. <laughs> we need to put a little like float in icon so it's just somebody like peeking over your shoulder. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to give the outro for the YouTube? You're so good at it, and I know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that maybe you can try the Facebook, then I'll do the YouTube. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so on our Facebook, um, if that's how you're watching us, we appreciate you tuning in. And uh, please share. And um, if you've made a purchase, give us a, a little while, maybe an hour or two, and I'll get that invoice out to you. All right, and for those uh, on YouTube for tuning in, just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and enjoying all the beautiful jewelries that we have here. And if you guys are liking this video, just hit that like button down below. It really helps us a lot. And hit that subscribe button for more videos and click that bell notification for more video for more notifications about our videos. <laughs> Yeah, all be, right, guys. They'll, they'll know whenever we go live. Yeah. Like yeah. That. It'll be it'll be like that. Just hit that notif <laughs> just hit that notific that bell notification yeah. to get more. I wish it made that sound though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys be safe out there. Uh, please tune in tomorrow for a special Halloween show. Mm -hmm. And uh, be safe. See you soon. And who knows? Maybe we might do something scary. 
Oh. <laughs> bah ouais. Oui, voici. 